In news overseas, almost a hundred people die in the fighting between army units and a paramilitary force in Sudan. This as a sweet 16 birthday party in Alabama turns tragic after a deadly shooting. Here's Meg Luna with the latest foreign news summary. The fighting between Sudan's military and the paramilitary force has so far killed at least 97 civilians and injured hundreds in the country. The conflict erupted Saturday between army units and rapid support forces where heavy gunfire was heard in the capital, Khartoum. Because of this, the Philippine embassy in Egypt advised Filipinos in Sudan to stay in their homes, remain vigilant, and coordinate with the consulate in the capital. They may also send their details to the embassy through these conflicts. Contact details. A deadly shooting has erupted during a Sweet 16 birthday party in the small town of Dadeville, Alabama. At least four people were shot dead, including a high school football player said to be the celebrant's brother. More than 28 people suffered injuries. Authorities are still investigating the incident. Ukraine has welcomed home some 130 prisoners of war in a major Easter exchange with Russia. Among those returning prisoners of war were soldiers, sailors, and border guards. Sunday's prisoner exchange marked the second wartime celebration of Orthodox Easter in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the defense and diplomatic leaders of the Philippines and the U.S. recently met in Washington, D.C. Among those discussed were ways to modernize the alliance between the two countries, increase economic ties, and combat terrorism. The meetings came as both nations launched their largest joint military drills and after Manila named four additional EDCA sites. Meg Luna for The Nation.